I am from Russia, from the far east of Russia. In 2017, I came to Japan for my PhD study. And when I graduated from Niigata University, I joined the Next Meets company after my short postdoc term. It was in May 2021. What is your specific area of research? Currently, I do my research on high moisture extrusion, processing, testing different types of raw materials such as soy and pea proteins to determine the ideal fiber texture look and taste for our plant-based meat production. Also, I focus on technical aspects of equipment development, especially on dye cooling system in order to control and enhance the fiber texture look. Is the Next Meat R&D team able to create a flavor profile that is more appealing with an analog meat product? Well, we're working hard on developing a diverse flavor profile for our products. One of the strengths of Next Meats is that we have a very diverse workforce with knowledge on numerous cultures and cuisines. So we try to use that to our advantage. We're also unique in the global alternative meat since in that we are from Japan and can incorporate the most aesthetic flavors of Japanese cuisines in our products, which is still rare in the industry overall. How long is the typical shelf life of Next Meats products? It depends on the product type and storage condition. All our products can be stored for a year in frozen and if it's refrigerated, it can last up to 60 days. Our canned next gudon can be stored in room temperature condition up to three years time. What do you think is the biggest challenge to agriculture in the next 20 years? I think the biggest challenge will be to produce enough crops since the plant-based products will be on demand in the next 20 years. Therefore, it will be the biggest challenge for the next 20 years.